The Wrestling Mayhem Show. Since 2006, the pioneer in pro wrestling podcasting. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us and IndieWrestling.network for your independent wrestling entertainment. Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show episode, oh wait, 934 Did Tuesdays we've been talking about professionalized wrestling. What? Yes, I'm changing it. And <laughs> what week is this is going to be my corner bit. Um, anyways, uh, 934 Tuesdays we've been talking about professionalized wrestling. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the social medias in Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Back again. I hope you've enjoyed the throwback episodes. Uh, if you haven't yet, it was back in, uh, God, what was it, 2017 we talked with Effie and 2010 when we talked to Butterbean and Corey Graves under another assumed name that they were taking on each other. And no, I did not buy Kurt Angle TNA.net. I wonder if you did. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, but uh, somebody that helped me on that journey was the Riz. This is w this W. What? Oh, I put an extra W in there. Oh, that's why yeah. that's what happens when I do it live. I was, I was just like, I was, I was really looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, I'm glad to be back here. So, uh, it's been, it's been some time. Two weeks, a month, year. It's been a while. But still, in that time, like you, you, you helped film some wrestling. You helped uh, produce some stuff for the weekend. Some stuff happened. You know, it was it was a good good wrestling. Things time have happened. You. Things yes. and stuff have happened. You witnessed things. I don't even know what happened on Saturday night yet, for you guys. Mm -hmm. I only know what happened in Cleveland. I don't know what happened in West Newton yet. And I and I put the show out, <laughs> so. It's gonna be. You're gonna like it, sort of. Okay, I gotta. Well, I gotta produce next month, so I better watch the last two months of the WA and figure out what the hell is happening down there. We are back with us in the studio, catching up with the travels. As if I don't see him every week, anyways. Referee George Ross. The how did you put that? The unofficial official of Indie Wrestling US. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I, I like that. I like. I like. I like the ring of that, sir. So, but you've been all over the place and you finally got your XPW hat back. I did, and, yes. Uh, Thank you <laughs> it's that. been in the bottom of my floor of my car for since the Detroit trip. It was the night Sorg murdered a deer with, with a car <laughs> mirror. <laughs> I haven't replaced that mirror. I was going to say, did you there's, that even, no. there's even dash cam I just, footage. I just dash cam footage of it. Yes, yes. Um, the deer was not okay. Um, but the car was, don't the worry. Car, car we was. drove home. It's, it's, it's fine. It's Worst fine. part, four it's, miles it's, left on the turnpike yeah, before yeah. we get off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the whole way to Detroit and back without hitting anything until we get back home. Yeah. So, anyways... um. But no, uh, so uh, we, and also John is here. John, John's here off camera. Hello. Uh, did we? <laughs> How's it going? Our visitor, our visitor from a uh, uh, pit student wants to see what we're what we're doing here, and where hopefully we'll have some more, a few more visitors. I've been talking with a few people that want to check out what's going on here at Sorgatron Media. We invite the audiences. Please hit us up for on that email address. What's that email address again? When we never say anymore. Good times. Good times at wrestlingmayhemshow dot that com. That's right. That's no. Weird. No, good times. We need we need the mayhem Missy voice. Like that's that's the thing. We should mm -hmm. have recorded it. I have her send that in or something. Just right? use it as a as a drop. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I have a soundboard for the awesome cast. We can make one for this one too. So, anyways, there is a lot of wrestling to catch up on, and I have been binging. Let me tell you. Okay, wait. So I I, I spent two consecutive trips to uh, uh, Aries in Florida. One for fun, and one for work. And um, I can tell you. It is a lot easier for me to watch WWE on the road because I can uh, I have access to an Xfinity app and you can download on there. Um, not as easy to do for TNA. Or, I'm sorry, a, TNA, God, AEW um, TNA's through pretty, Triller. TNA is pretty Because I watched it on Triller. Yeah, TNA is wherever. But the problem was like, the only time I had to watch anything was on a plane. So if I didn't get it downloaded, didn't have much opportunity, right? So I pretty much slammed through all the WWE and then I've been slamming through all the AEW. And I have notes, okay, 
for that. Okay. Basically, a, since Crown so, Jewel. So you did a speed run. I have done a speed run. And also, like, I'm still in that point where WWE is mostly skippable. Um, I feel like I get through the entire show in 90 minutes, and AEW, this, is still, this still holds, in, in, in binge mode, this still holds true. Relatively, I want to watch every minute of it. Uh, and I get more of it because I watch the international feeds. Um, so you get all that picture in picture and everything like that. But that's me. I'm one of the sickos uh, that apparently that's that's what I'm here for. Um, so, oh, man, we're not talking about the STD Christmas special yet. It's too early. It's too early, man. Wait till Santa comes not on even, Macy's Parade. It's not even Thanksgiving. Not even Thanksgiving. All the decorations are up. It's it's come on. No decorations here. We just have our lights up. So um, are you saying that would make whoever wants to discuss the STD Christmas special a turkey? Mm. By the way, the uh, Thanksgiving wah, wah. special will be next Tuesday. Uh, so get what you're thankful for in pro wrestling in order for that. Um, so and maybe we'll make hand turkeys again. There's still a hand turkey on the fridge oh, from God, last year, turkey. by the way. So <laughs> who made us do that last year? I, don't, I think I made everybody do it. I think that was my idea. That's somebody said make a hand turkey. I, don't think I use this you. show to really relive the uh, the finer points of my childhood. Uh, if you haven't figured that out by now. Um. Anyways, so I have a few notes. Kevin Owens. Um, I appreciate Kevin Owens wearing everybody's dad's shirt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he wore Dusty's when he was dealing with Cody. He wore Cowboy Bob Orton when he was dealing with Randy. Love him. Like those little details, right? And also, Kevin Owens is making car promos. Is he making fun of people that do car yes. promos, or yes. is he like? Like this is like three weeks in a row that he's done like a promo from his car, and we always complain about the independent wrestlers that do that. I mean, he probably was one of the independent wrestlers who would, <laughs> like not not, <laughs> but, but it was but 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 like it was from the era of like before they really had any good smartphones to be able to do that. So yes. like mm-hmm. you know like yeah, but no, like it's it probably probably is it's, if he is, I hope so because it's a really good rib. The fun thing is I've, I've been able to speed run the bloodline recollecting. <laughs> together uh that's been interesting um and uh and and in in the EC- last friday hurt by the way the what the 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 wise man's the phone, phone being call. disconnected <laughs> the, the phone call where it was disconnected or they blocked it or he blocked his number either way it was like it it was it was a little roller coaster of a ride there mm-hmm but go ahead, Sorg. I didn't mean to interrupt your notes. No, that's this. Is, I'm just trying to guide you along to get some notes from you guys because yeah. you've been witnessing this week to week, and I just like blew through a lot of it. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, we're heading out for War Games. Uh, Rhea Ripley, I think, had the best War Games announcement ever because she rolled in with that new face mask, yelled War Games, and hit. <laughs> Headbutter. She's been headbutting everybody. It was so man. good, and she's got that yeah. nasty looking headgear now. With that, uh, was it her orbital bone? And and I feel like on purpose they made it come out to a point, right, to make her look more badass. I mean, it did make Rip Hamilton look more badass too when he would drain threes and everybody. So, mm-hmm. like. <laughs> so uh, appreciating all that. Um, I'm kind of liking where they're going with this. I presume Seth is going to be the fifth man on um on the Bloodlines team. After this week, um, he's not in traction, I guess. Uh, but I'm surprised they didn't do like I, I was. Um, I was thinking they were going to have Cody Rhodes and Kevin Owens be the fifth fifth men, mm-hmm. like the way they were headed, because it's the it's Kevin Owens wanted doesn't want anything to do with the bloodline because of all the shit that happened to him while the blood one was happening. Mm-hmm. Why not join with the new bloodline trying mm-hmm. to take down the old bloodline? Cause this problem is with the old bloodline at this point, mm-hmm. right? So everybody, everybody's everybody who has been on the blood, who has faced against the bloodline is now joining forces with Roman Reigns. So, it, and it's also been interesting is they've been doing a lot of, you know, I've been seeing a lot of like the questions poised is like, are you actually on Owen's side mm-hmm. on this? You know, he are feels you? I, I, I understand why he's on his side has put it that way. But you know, he's kind of in a good Thanos mode where he's like, you know, he's not wrong, but he's kind of handling this bad. 
you know, <laughs> he's got he's got the wrong methods, but maybe the right idea, you know, kind of thing. You know, is it is it is it a Thanos is right situation when we get I mean, through this? It could be. Like another thing, I I think about when I think about like Kevin Owens' situation is kind of something that's happening on Raw as well mm-hmm. with the New Day mm-hmm. and how maybe. It, Maybe Woods is right. <laughs> like, what? What if Woods was trying to keep things together? Mm-hmm. But it's one, it's one what, if the, what if what if Karrion Cross was right? What if? Well, no, that was, that was, that's one on... thing they, the WWE's been good at doing lately. Has been slow burning heel turns. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Kevin and, Owens and, was good, and giving giving them a lot of justification, like this Woods thing. You know, the he's been areas. like, oh, what's that? It's the gray area. It's a gray area for sure. Because, because I still don't think he's turning. Mm. I still think Cody Kofi's turning. Really? Like it's a slow burn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a slow burn, and it's going to be a nice little twist. Okay, we'll see where that goes. We'll see. There's a lot of room here. You, you can't know. like that. You can't top the storytelling. The storytelling still absolutely. It's still top notch. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, no, it's been a very good. So how did you guys feel about the crown jewel slash bragging rights matches from a few weeks ago? I thought the show came off really well. I like there was, you know, I know like in the grand scream, those like belts didn't matter too much, but I always appreciate a foreign audience that's completely into everything. And, um, you know, the, the, Gunther and, and Cody was a match I kind of wanted to see. I mean, for the money that they're giving them, like they can, they, they'll make whatever belts they want. Absolutely, mm-hmm. absolutely. But I mean, but but still, was it a good experience as a fan watching that? Yes. Yeah. As far as like a, another PLE, that's a nice tweener between Survivor Series and whatever, right? So like, I'm it, glad. I'm glad it was in a like. I'm glad Gunther and and Cody wasn't a main event in the continental United States. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like that type of atmosphere, unless it's WrestleMania is for outside the U S yeah. Is how like crazy they were. feels like they accept that more over there. Right. Whereas mm-hmm. here's some kind of another match. So, <clears throat> okay. I mean, they, they accept it because it's rare for them to see things happening mm-hmm. in mm-hmm. their town. Mm hmm. Now, we can go into like schematics, but still, it, it, did you say schematics? Schematics. Okay, it's a word, right? No, I don't think it is. I think you're looking for semantics. Semantics. Let's, let's ask the college student. <laughs> <laughs> I went to art school. Where does he go? Where do you go? He's just dropped out of his chair. Oops. He just went to a real school. He, he's waiting for the lot, the indie wrestling us live streams on YouTube to come back because he has nothing to play in the background anymore. That's right. That's true. Nobody with a well, wedgie. Well, I mean, I can still. VC Cody, I, I still have it. Hey, VCW is coming back in like January, so you may get some material out of that. So I'm sure Bradley will be there, and I'm sure something really terrible will happen to him. Seems to be a trend. Um, anyways, coming I just, back, I just know the best moment on the first fire hall show probably will not be replicated given what happened. So I understand what you're talking about. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Certain people. <laughs> yeah. We're not getting to that at all. Um, anyways, so nope, that's the wrong button there. Um, <laughs> sorry. I'm still putting, I was trying to try, starting to put some of this project together. Listen, some stuff changed in my system and some of these ads don't work anymore. So I've been quietly trying to fix it in the background and now it's quietly, not quietly anymore. Anywho, um, uh, from the chat room, there's been a lot of chatter about the War Games match and the pontification, reading the tea leaves from them out there uh, between, I think Tina from Seattle brought this up, or no, actually, Ponder first brought this up, Wise Man coming back and brings one of his OG Paul Heyman guys, CM Punk. Ryback. Uh Uh-oh. No, (laughs) Ryback. The real swerve is Ryback, right? (laughs) Mm. He's, He's actually known something all along that we didn't. And he he like he always knew he was coming back. It turns out yes. Ryback was the answer the whole time. Jeez. 
told where it's what. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> I love the chat room was was all over you on semantics. Um, yeah, I, hmm? schematics. I, yeah. schematics. 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 I like schematics. Schematics. That's just, I'm going to throw that just randomly in like production meetings and see if anybody catches it. <laughs> production <laughs> meetings. We have production meetings. You know what? I didn't you don't you guys have production meetings in West Newton? We're bringing them back next month. Uh we're bringing them back. <laughs> we're bringing them back, I, man. I, I will be back Listen, in West. I will be back I in West Newton next month unless I, they fired me. I'm just saying, <laughs> I appreciate a wrestling show with a 15 page uh, production script. Oh my, so, that's, that's yeah. Oh, is that the? Uh, oh yeah, uh, is that the one from Saturday <laughs> show? Um, no, I, I do appreciate that because then I like know it, it's really nice. And I've done that with other big companies. I've literally had a company where I, we had like 90 minutes between shows at many, many a week. And it was literally, tell me what's next. Tell me what's next. I had no chance that to so- review anything. That sounds like the one time I had to ref an entire show only knowing like the first finish <laughs> of the first match. And then I kept going back to the tent to figure out A, who was wrestling and B, who was winning and C, what they were using. The fact that you're saying you had to go back to a tent tells me that this was not a high level situation. Uh, no, it was a, a, a community festival for uh, River Rouge. Oh, okay. River Rouge days, yes. River Rouge. <laughs> I love when comments like that come up and I recognize them from ICP lyrics. Oh well, River Rouge. Like you know, I, I I don't really like really doing River Rouge that much. I've only I've never, I didn't realize it was a real place. It is. You know what I mean? Like I didn't realize like it, it comes up in a song. That was like one of the biggest it's, like uh, worker communities for the Ford factory. Because the line is the guy that runs the drawbridge at the Rouge River Bridge. Fuck him. Uh, is literally the line. Oh okay. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I wonder what it means. Um, what, <laughs> I think it means exactly what you think it mean? means. <laughs> I don't know. It was not was, a terribly deep song. We, okay, we, we all know how much I love Detroit, so I'm probably not going to like anything that talks shit on it anymore. So what's that? I don't know. There's no, Detroit's not bad. There's nothing wrong with it. You know what? Detroit is growing on you, like a fungus sometimes, but it's growing it's on. Not a fungus. I've seen a lot of Michigan. <laughs> it's not a fungus at all. Michigan. What did I just describe? Michigan is slightly less nice. Um, uh, no, definitely less nice. Canada. I mean, I don't know. You haven't seen it. You, you're at the same show I was where you, you had the Ohioans and Canadians discussing sheets. Was it, yeah, probably, I think That was so. the most, it was the one where I hit the deer. Um, it yeah. was the mo- It was the most joyful conversation I've heard in a backstage. Like, I, 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 I can't remember a show where there was a buzz backstage that had nothing to do with the show. The fact that they opened the sheets by the airport and it was the first one in the state. Yes, uh, sheets <laughs> looking for that sponsorship. Yeah, yeah, happen. come on, come sheets on. baby. Sheets bubby, not sheets baby. What's that? Sheets bubby. Sheets bubby. bubby. Yeah. Sheets bubby all tight all night. Um. Anyway, free, free French roast for life, please. Free <laughs> French. <laughs> you're angling for it. I love it. Totally angling for you're, it. You're, you're telling everybody like Sorg, I'm a carny. Why listen, would I argue? Why listen, would I mean, the, the we up, are good. We rolled up the sheets and he's like, I'm so glad I get to share this with somebody. <laughs> I'm so it's like, I appreciate you. I appreciate it. You know. <laughs> um, anyways, um Tina's having power problems. Oh, first time, first time issue that we had. We showed up to the venue on Saturday and the power was out. <laughs> Oh, on Saturday? On Saturday, yeah. Dang, I didn't, when did you get there? We got there at like 11 o'clock. Oh, shit, yeah, uh, I got there like... Power two, was on right before noon, but it was still that's like... That's bringing up we really were... bad memories for me, Sorg. Why? What's the bad memories for you? Going out of state and then... Oh, you had a... Having the power oh, go out. Oh, when the lightning guy then... blew the lights a half hour before showtime yeah. and it ruined all of our setup. Yeah. And, and I was on another show... <laughs> It was just me. Oh and, no! And, yeah, we were. What just a like, nightmare scenario. That's literally the reason I take weed gummies every night. Is scenarios like that that I wake up to. So, and I'm oh. still getting it. Like, why am I setting up this wrestling show with no power in the middle of a field? Sorry, MV. I'm, I'm not getting a show done. <laughs> it was literally my dream a few nights ago. Anyways, that's enough of that, that stuff. That was a reality because it was probably the dang uh, field where I took the picture of the Alcoa uh, gimmick the other night. <laughs> Listen, we've done wrestling shows in some weird ass places. I said this at the beginning of the last show. Since I've been here on this show, I've done a pro wrestling show in like somebody's backyard on Halloween night. Oh, I did one without a, in a backyard with not being on Halloween night. That was just <laughs> pandemic wrestling, sort. And uh, and then on the NWA YouTube pay per view or live stream, um, in Cleveland, uh, saw Mickey. 
and uh, yeah, a bunch of other shit. I held an alligator. Huh. Yeah. Uh, anyways, thank you everybody that does support this show, as crazy as it is, over at Patreon. And I'm going to pull that up in just a moment. Um, thank you to uh, everybody that does support this show and keeps it going, helps pay the bills around here. Um, and we try to give you a little bit of extra con- content, a little bit of extra discussion, and sometimes we bring on, bring on banned individuals <laughs> for, for the show on the, in the post show and everything. Who's banned? I'm not banned. Uh, that yeah. one guy that used to work oh, for yeah. that, that works yeah. for that company. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, but thank you everybody that does support the show at the fan of the show level. Bo Diggity. You're, you are uh, every woo life, from now on. It does not way. work. What, it, why is your woo broken, man? It is. It Can is we very fix our woo? Can everybody, anybody out there help my, my friend fix his woo? Woo. woo. Come you. on, like the top of the top of your like the top of your soul, man. Like woo. You used to be able to do this. I was able to do. Bring it. your woo back. I was able to do it, and then I got old. <laughs> you lose your woo with age. I guess. I don't know. You're not that old. I'm going to make a new movie called How Riz Got His Woo Back. <gasps> Coming soon to Indie Wrestling Network. <laughs> yes. How Riz Got His Woo Back. Yes. Um, damn it. I, was, I got a note here. That's I got, probably the episode title right there, actually. Yeah, let me, let me write that sure. down. So it, yeah, somebody right messaged that to me. Um, anyways... <laughs> Where were we? That we only said one name. Team you Hammerfist. Team Hammerfist, who I got to hang out with down there in uh, Orlando, gave me a fine tour of the backstage area at Full Sail Live. Let me know where all the NXT promos uh, uh, happened back there um, in the back lot. That's cool. Yeah, it was very fun. Uh, also, our friends in the Tupac family, Bubba Brewer with the Triple B podcast and APWF, and Jason French at the Poppy Club level, Dave Profit Bonner, Rats in a Trench Coat, Tony Kincaid, and just a uh, re- turned i believe to the patreon uh matthew the matt the the true prince of pro on let me get you in the notes on the tweeter prince pro on the tweets and the blue sky he's over there now hey there i am um and i was on there the entire yes time. you were i hope you're making faces but you know it's okay pizza club level supporting the riz thank you riz that's me and wait, 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 wait 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 bring it back bring it back bring it back no keep going what Who's next one? And also in the manager level, Bradley. Jeez. Oh, yeah, there he is. Gonna wedgie. There he is. There he is. There he is. He's the one on the left, if it's, you're not it's, familiar. It's that guy. Wait, That's I can He's the one with it's, his underwear it's showing. That guy. That's that guy. Yeah. That guy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't know why he still puts up with us. Oh, no. Um, he anyways. does it to a, but again. I need to figure out how to not do it like that because mm-hmm. that made it look weird. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, look like you're in the right. middle of something. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, uh, thank you so much, uh, everybody that supports the show, patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Referee George Ross has been traveling the Midwest <laughs> and, and, and to the East Coast. <laughs> Into the East Coast. Everywhere. And, Everywhere. and, and, and we're going to catch up on your travels. You have had, you went on a honest to goodness wrestling tour recently. Half of one. Half of tour. You did half, a half of tour. One. Not important enough for the, or too important. I never lie. It, was, it was half a tour because I couldn't say, I can't say I was on the whole tour because I, I wasn't. No, 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 no. So what was it? Okay. So we did, uh, after helping out at Bound for Glory, I hopped on, uh, hopped up. Uh, up to Milwaukee and then Chicago or uh, Joliet. Not I can't say it was Chicago proper. Okay. But jo- Joliet. Chicago land. Well, Joliet Jake was was you know in the one of the Blues Brothers, so that that sort of counts. That's okay. half credit. Okay. Uh, and then we ended up doing the two shows in Detroit, which were Devil's Night and Hallow Wicked. So yeah, that was it was a lot of miles. Milwaukee's <laughs> about five and a half hours from Detroit. So you did like a week of wrestling. I mean, oh, that I did nine days straight. Jeez, who so, gets to do that anymore? So essentially, okay, so essentially how it went, and this is just that one run in October. That's not counting September and all the other crazy crap I was doing. Uh, but started with IWR on Thursday the 24th. Okay. Then Bound for Glory was the next three days. Mm-hmm. Extremely long, extremely rewarding. Though. Mm-hmm. Um, then after that, I rent a car on Monday morning, then go to go to Milwaukee and mm-hmm. do the whole do the whole, that whole part. Then Friday and Saturday were uh, with Wes for uh, 
BCW and war. Okay. So it was like back home for like one night and then back out to Lima again. You kind of had like a travel like I had the last couple of weeks for work. <laughs> yeah. I, that's why I'm like glad that like, you know. So I, it will tell me a little bit. So, so first of all, um, you did do the JCW shows. Those yes. have been all, all over YouTube. They were on Triller Plus, I think, for the last couple. I had an encounter like with Cocaine himself. A coke. Oh, my God. The cocaine. The cocaine that's taking the, the internet no, by storm. The, the, the tall one. Not, the tall the, one? Not the one with there's the weird. There's two of them? Yeah. Not, well, yeah there's, there's two cocaine. There's the one on Vice with the really poopy costume. Okay. Uh, no, okay. I was with the authentic cocaine. Okay. Uh, now, uh, now, when you say. Okay, let's, the JCW let's, endorsed cocaine. Let's. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's boil this down for anybody who has not seen this. Okay. It plays there, right into the right into the meme of all the, the the Kane multiverse being open since WWE no longer has the trademark to the Kane gimmick. Correct. That's the whole. Crux. Oh, is that why? I guess I figured that's why I was freaking. Is that why there's been blue Kane for this time? Yeah. Well, well, no. That's why they lost there's, it for a while, but now blue Kane's back. Yeah. Okay. There's blue Kane. There's there's gay. There's there's, there's Kane, gain there's gain, gain uh, gay Kane mm -hmm. gain. Uh, do they just call pink Kane pain? Because they should just call pink cane pain, honestly. Uh, there, there, there's piss cane. There's yellow cane. There's yellow cane. Um, yeah, because that was this is the, for the first half of the tour. Cocaine was actually yellow cane, mm -hmm. okay. but then also did one night as regular. Brother had a lot of suits. He had okay. a lot. Of, he had a lot of suits. Um, even had like special cocaine pyro for. Uh, Hello, Wicked. We're a little. And he took on the Soul Taker. He took on what Congo. What the hell? Yeah, yeah. This was quite literally. What the uh, fuck? These. <laughs> these this, okay, so there was a clip what, that. What is that, happening? There was a clip that blew up. It, it got millions of views mm -hmm. with, the, with those two. Um, and how couldn't it? I mean, it's viral sensation meets viral sensation. It's, a, it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's, the, it's, it's, it's internet WrestleMania 14. <laughs> like how like like literally like undertaker versus kane was like my favorite one of my favorite programs growing up like how can you not love that like especially because like they're two characters that don't even they probably shouldn't even exist at all but they do and that's just kind of half the fun of wrestling sometimes yes yes and of course soul taker we won't say his other name that he makes people well say. none of us have the right to say no 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 no, no, no. um except for hank hudson <laughs> I certainly don't have the pass. No, no I, Hank, not I don't think Hank. One. I don't think Hank has the right to do that either. <laughs> um. Anyway, so so that happened. Um. I don't think you can beat that as far as King King giving stuff. Um. I have a feeling next WrestleMania, it's gonna like in that area, it's going to be like, uh, like one one of those Joey Janela spring uh, breaks spring breaks gonna have like a cane battle royal where everybody's just cane <laughs> like, the, oh the cluster cane, the cluster fuck battle cocaine. royals is yeah. anybody familiar with joey janela's jcw gimmick no. no he's the florida man oh no oh, he's, yes yeah. he is down man he was yeah. the first one grabbing a jersey when we were there for halloween last no but year. no but no he's literally no but like he was literally like his, he's the florida man Joey Janela, it. yeah. So, well, it, so it's funny because you get to go there, and and there's a lot of like people in the JCW world that come in with different gimmicks. Obviously, Florida man Joey Janela, Colt Cabana. We've talked about as Officer Colt, where he just gets the greatest heat from the Juggalos. Talos is painful, Paul. Okay. Um, yeah. There's a certain um, different sense of humor with the Juggalo crowd, to right? Say the least. No. To say the least. To say the um, least. This is where I saw my first. Um, there was. I just remember a match at JCW at, at, at the gathering one year where they had to take a pause every like thirty or ninety seconds to like take a toke of, of of a joint, and then continue the match. That was how. That was actually the opening spot of Tournament of Death. Sort. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was like mid card. Well, no, Mad yeah. Man. No, well, no. Uh, well, what would you do if Madman Pondo passes you a blunt at DJ Hi in the back of DJ Hyde's farm? Are you gonna say no? I am loving this. This is apparently the uh, Yellow Cane. Mm -hmm. Yes. Situation. <laughs> yes, uh, Yellow Cane was getting goozled and taking the same bump onto the steel ramp every night. Oh yeah. In Battle Royals. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I like how his shout out is. shout out to uh, my Juggalo ref mentor Jeff Bundy. Okay. Um. Also of Evolve fame as well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jeff I, is the Jeff is the man. I appreciated how wild the entire set was. Um. Like there's this a uh, uh, spindle design kind of to everything, including on the apron. The apron looks trippy as hell. It like like is that like we were watching <laughs> this? I know uh, Chachi was watching like 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 religiously this on on YouTube until it went to Triller, and then he's like, ah, too much work. Uh, <laughs> was Chachi response? Um. But like, was that trippy to like be in the middle of that? So, oh, uh, the whole atmosphere is just, I, I was, it was the, I'll never forget the experience. Oh yeah. Um, it's a lot better than it used to be. There's a lot of throwing things and it felt like that was happening less during these. So at the gathering, uh, there was a gentleman, uh, I swear you can't even make this shit up. He had like the, like the cheesy poofs that fucking Cartman probably eats on South Park. Okay. Like, and he had a big ass, like, you know, like those big ass containers you get at, like Sam's club, mm-hmm. you know, or Costco. So like, and this this fool's chucking him in the in the ring during the first match. The point where Violent J had to get on the mic and be like, "Hey, don't whoop whoop, don't throw shit, etc." <laughs> uh, you know. But and after that, imagine that they didn't throw anything. Yeah, it, I mean that's what they needed was like Jay to come out because they were like they were attempting to film things like like in the gathering in the mid two thousands that, but there was so much shit being thrown at people. Oh, uh, the, heat. the Southern Six, uh, they they get pelted with it. Like, Kerry Morton must get six beers thrown at him every fucking match. <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. Um, I was also worried, so uh, <laughs> this will pop you. Um, we, they didn't really have a gimmick person for uh, Devil's Night, right? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, if you saw the reel today, I ended up getting lucky enough to get Nick Nemeth versus Kerry Martin. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, Nick Nemeth wears the, the TNA heavyweight title down to the ring. M- non-title match. Uh, they left it on the corner. And uh, the, the guardrails were a little closer than, than usual. Oh, so no. uh, I was telling, well, no, that's why I was like very like, you know, I was, I was just panicking. I was like, like, you know, we all like anybody who knows me knows where I want to go. And of course, that would be the one thing that I would probably stop that for sure. Oh, gee, the, the belt got stolen at a show in a match you ref. On your and, watch. On, my, on your watch. <laughs> good, good luck, Jagoff. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but no, uh, thankfully, one of the security guys like moved it further away from, you know, because like that was, yeah, it was. Oh, there he is. Bri- the, Richie Boy Forever. Richie Boy. So and yeah, there's that, George that, right that there is, in the middle of so, it. So yeah, that is jo- that's the Joliet venue right mm-hmm, there. That was mm-hmm. called. I, I even, presume they were having a concert later that night, given oh, all the yeah. covering that's happening. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what. If you, it's not. Uh, you want to talk about uh, a sense of camaraderie? Oh, yes, there's fellow hey, there's some friends. Yes, yeah, this, this is likely the opening. Yeah, there's likely the opening match of this show was the Neon Blondes versus Bang and Matthews. Mm-hmm. Um. Later known, I think, is the Young Ultra Boys on the tour. There's a storyline to it. I I'm sure there is. It does involve oh, it involves Johnny Cashmere. Okay, all right, <laughs> that seems um, right. Yeah, but no, like it was it is very on brand. Yeah, but no, this yeah this was this was night two of my, like this but this has been like night I want to say night six overall. Because mm-hmm. by this point they had been to Little Rock, they had done Bur- I think Birmingham, mm-hmm. Nashville. And then two nights in Missouri. Jeez. So, like, and they're all uh, clubs, so they're not like the largest of venues or anything like that. But everything I've seen from this has looked relatively packed. Yeah, no, like uh, four to five hundred people probably mm-hmm. every night. Like there, is, there's no, yeah, like the harder, like it was hard, extremely hard to get everybody out of that because uh, mm-hmm. like, we had to get that ring out of there right after the show's over because the concert starts. Mm-hmm. And like that, you, you're on a pretty tight timetable we got everything torn down loaded onto the truck out of there in 22 minutes hot damn that's with people like from every level helping out the ring crew these are this is television people and jamokes like me mm-hmm. all all you know people who aren't trained everybody's getting that ring out it's all a team to make sure that you know we can get get the show started again that's what yeah. it's about yeah like nobody's bigger than anybody else it was it was a great experience that way like and then then you come back here and you see some of the how some people like down the end is you're like, man, you don't get it. You just don't get it. Mm-hmm. You don't get it. Mm-hmm. You know, this. And this was like, I mean, you had everybody from like, you know, ICP themselves were involved with this thing to like NWA guys and everything. Right. I mean, you name like, it. Willie yeah. Mack, Carrie Morton, Mecca Wolf, mm-hmm. uh, 
JBL was at Devil's Night. Uh, <laughs> Ricardo Rodriguez was there on the last two nights managing and teaming with Mecha Wolf. Wow. Um, yeah. Uh, Silas Mason and Alex Taylor were on the tour as well. Like uh, uh, Congo Kong, uh, Daba Kato, the former Daba Kato, a.k.a. Baba Thunder. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, like it was it was insane. Plus, like then you have like, you know, other like mainstays like Briar Wellington and Jeeves, mm-hmm. like just, mm-hmm. you know, Facade and Danny. Like it was a very eclectic lineup. It was but like all the action was good. A very tightly run ship in terms of a, like production value and mm-hmm. like being on time, which is very ironic considering you know the vet. Like <laughs> if you consider the crowd or you know who you're working for, y'all will be like, no, yeah, yeah, very very professional, very like, like on like on time. Let's go, like, it, which is such a uh, antithesis to what I've seen over like 20 years of JCW at the Gathering because always like I said, it, uh, many years it seemed like uh, just a an afterthought. Oh know? yeah, the back yeah. Uh, shout to the Baxi Boys too. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, uh, absolutely. JP and Tommy Grayson. Great crew. Got to meet them on the Combat One shows. Um, and of course, Cashmere, who we talked to early, early days in the show. It was good to finally see him in person at the, those Detroit area shows. And, and actually, Erie, he was up a big league the first when they were, mm-hmm. they were launched. Uh, a few he was on the last too. show. He was on the last show. I think it was on the, on the show, last show at the ladder match. Mm. Maybe. Can't remember. I don't think. I can't remember. That was two shows ago. That was two shows May, ago. Was May. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Uh, when, uh, yeah, the yeah the, the the Death Star ladder match. Yeah, we can. And we, we May we, the fourth, if and you we, will, and we can come back. We'll come back to hype up. Uh, you know, Wednesday Night Wars and everything. Oh yeah, so there's a lot happening. Yeah, we, we, have, we need to mention. So we have, we have a lot to talk um, about. Still. But anyways, so uh, no, it's good to see again. Like I said, JCW has been such a weird thing over the years. It's kind of come and gone. You know, with like I've never seen it this organized. You know, to the point where it's on Triller, it's on YouTube. Like the shows look really good, uh, and it's a good mix of talent too. It's not just like the good old Juggalo boys, like from Detroit. You know, they're actually expanding it, and making it something for real. Um, so it's really, really close. And it seems like, and obviously, there's lots of there's there's an NWA connection here. Just hearing the names, I'm hearing connected with it. Just the talent. Well, yeah, like backstage. Joe, Joe, Joe Galley was on commentary for Devil's mm-hmm. Night, and mm-hmm. he had been like he ha- he has done like other lunacy tapings as well. Um, Danny Deals was on the gathering. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. So there is definitely a connection there. Absolutely. So really cool thing to see there. Um, we've got a lot more to talk about here, but I want to give a shout out here for uh, a lot of stuff that we are working on. Uh, IndieWrestling.us. We mentioned RWA. That's on there. And see all the craziness there. Again, I'm not entirely sure everything that happened. I know it started with a women's match. I know Lexus Sin showed up. I know uh, there was a champion. Uh, Heath Slater was there. J-Rock was somehow there. at that show, even though he was also at our show on Cleveland that night. <laughs> so um, I, have, I have stories about you have You have stories. Are they stories for stories on air? I have stories about people showing up late. Is that, that oh, oh, that sounds like a Patreon story it, right there. It is. Okay, okay. We'll get into that a little bit later. But in the meantime. I mean, we do have, uh, I mean, you, you were talking about holding alligators, and alligators are like crocodiles, and that makes me think of Crocodile Dundee, and that makes me think of Shazay McKenzie. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Coming up to the RWA. Yeah, Shaza McKenzie's going to be a part of that. I'm trying to remember where I've seen her before. Is she like an AAW? Probably I saw no, her. She's, or she's, she's done. No, she, 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 she's been around she's a been lot. Around. She's been around. Yeah, no. Like, I, just like, can't I remember, know like, I've done shows with yeah, her. Yeah, no. She, I can't she, place she tours it. periodically. Okay. She's from Australia. Okay. Oh, like she's actually still yeah, based she, out there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But like, no, I forget. Like, yeah, she's, she's been around a lot. So that's like, going to be the season speeding show. Uh, which is going to be a cage match, tag team match with the Gambinos and the Wise Guys, I see. That's, uh, that's so we got to figure out which videographer is going to be in the cage. Not it. I nominate CL. It would yeah. be me if I'm not running the show. <laughs> I gotta figure, if somebody else was able to direct the show, I'm going in the cage. Because <laughs> with Riz. Talk to me, Sork. Talk to you? You're going to direct the show so I can go into the cage? We'll put a GoPro in the cage. After, after the show. We're going to strap you to the top of the cage. Oh, God. Maybe they listen if to us. you strap me to the top of that roof. <laughs> oh, the, not the roof, the cage. <laughs> I'm, gonna trust the, I'm gonna trust the shitty indie cage more than uh uh over the top. What you know, if that, what silly. if we put Riz in a shark cage above the regular <sighs> cage? Riz shark cage, yes. Why do we do that? Mm? No. No, <laughs> he says no. Hey, a guy, a guy can dream. Riz, are you afraid of heights? No. Are you afraid of indie cages? Yes. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> right answer. That's right answer right there. 
Yeah, I'll get how, your technic shot. How, how do you you mean to tell me you would not climb on the the no. first VCW War Games cage? It looked like oh, it was made completely God. out of chicken wire. Dude, that War hurt me cage? so bad just standing in there. What are you talking about? Jeez, I. <laughs> mm, mm. <laughs> Anyways, George, you you've been doing some other things. I, I we talked about the Ricky Shane Page. I see Ricky Shane Page is taking some time off due to injuries. First of all, yes. I don't know why. Uh, well, he's been he's been getting. Banged I'm sure up. he's been, I'm sure he's been getting pretty banged up. Uh, he needs to stop one. doing dives at Revolver. Oh no! Yeah, he, no. that was his foot. He's a big guy. I keep forgetting how big the dude is. Like I, I mean, like like he's like six four or five, isn't he? Like he's around mm-hmm. my height. Like I, I forgot. Like oh shit. So ba- backstage on Saturday, he's pretty much like just as tall as Duke and Gannon. So like oh, I, he was there. Y- okay. Yeah. So okay. That, yeah, that'll give you an yeah, that'll give you an idea. Like yeah. So I knew there was some stuff floating, but um. Yeah. yeah no. Like, like yeah. I yeah, because I've seen the posts about uh, that's going to affect the gang warfare uh, four for a gang warfare match at uh, RPW in Chicago, oh. unfortunately, which was going to be a really really good one. Well, maybe he can get a replacement cocaine. Hmm. Perhaps. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Add that to the color war. What if? Oh my God! Four four zero. If you don't know, four four zero split off. And they have a four four zero yellow and and blue faction that have been warring with each other, and I presume that's what this this game is. The, the, the yes. war games is right. So what if you got a blue and a yellow cane on each side? Oh shit! They're out there. I'm just saying, Ricky Shane Page. I'm putting that out there. Cogers putting it out there. You heard it. All Bl- friends of the show we in need some fashion. Bl- Blaine and Yane are in. Blaine and Yane. Blaine and Yane. Jeez. <laughs> All of this. Yes, absolutely. Um, anyways, more travels. You, 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 been a, what else is there to talk about here? Tournament, tournament of death. Tournament I mean. of death. Okay. And this is the part where we start talking about deathmatch wrestling, which not everybody gets. George loves deathmatch wrestling. George loves being in the middle. I have a feeling this is like me trying, wanting to be in mosh pits and having that feeling. Uh, 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 of of that nature, uh, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, yeah, the, the year in death match I've had is insane, and it's probably, it might end even crazier. By the way, an update from Tina: um, Shaza actually moved to the U.S. about a year ago. Oh, cool! So, you know, because I think I saw her the last time I saw her was at Mr. Chainsaw up in Kalkaska. She worked Tommy <laughs> Vendetta. These are the best sentences ever. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. She worked. Yeah, and it was like in a freaking like indoor hockey rink because mm-hmm. it's the most Michigan thing ever. Kalkaska is extremely far away. It's about 20 minutes, like about 20 miles out of Traverse City for anybody who knows it. That's like damn near all the way north up the mid. Can you tell me who the other announcer is? That is, Joe uh, that is that's Zach. Joe uh, Zach no, that's Zach oh. Amico. Zap Amico? Zach, no, Zach Amico. Okay. Yeah, Zach, Zach has a comedy show. Okay. Zach, yeah, Zach's a comedian. I think Zach might also do commentary for GTS. Okay. All right. Yeah, no, like I just, I met Zach. Zach. Uh, Zach was the, f- the first time I met Zach was on the tour. I've never met Zach before. Hey, wait, don't, like, um, but no, uh, re- Zach had it like backstage. Tons of great stories about other comics he's met. Really good Ron White story. Okay, actually, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, like Zach. No, Zach is really funny. I need to watch this stuff. There's some backstage promos with. Is that Mickey Knuckles? That, yes, um, Mickey Knuckles and Congo Kong. Yes. That, oh my god. <laughs> actually, that ended up being one of the real. Okay, so one of the reels I ended up using to promote uh, to promote the. Matches being on YouTube uh, from the Juliet show is the Congo ended up winning with a whoopee cushion or a bonsai drop. Um, so the caption, I think, was how FOMO will hit you if you don't uh, catch up, you know, if you don't watch the show, you know, mm-hmm. or whatever. <laughs> now available on YouTube. And I think it's up to about 4,500 views right now. People are still watching it. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about your you. So you have taken on um, social media. Not- We've been talking about this, you know, for a little bit here. Um, and this has kind of become a thing and it's uh, always fun. I, 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 I swear the first, uh, thing that pops up in my, um, that, for, that pops up in my feed when I open up Instagram in the morning is, is the big match Bubby match uh, clip of the day. Um, so, and you already have some stuff from, is this from the last Exodus? That would Okay. So that would have been, I got up, I, I, couldn't, from I couldn't, I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't sleep on Saturday night, Saturday morning <laughs> it's 3am. So 
I cut this up and just put yeah, put it up. Ended up getting about like 650 views. Nice. Was, this is the, uh, from the EC3. This is EC3 Richard Holiday. Yeah, yeah from uh, from Journey. Um, J- that, Journey, yeah, Journey to the yep. anniversary yep. show. This was this is available live on YouTube now. Yes. Uh, so this is the one from a few months ago that we did the first one we did on the NWA YouTube. Uh, really, really great show. And there you are doing an NWA uh, championship match with EC3 and Richard Holiday. Yes. Um. So really, really. Check really it cool. out. It was a really great match. So tell me about, like, what was your motivation for, in, in you know, this kind of version of what you're, you're presenta- presenting, presenting on social media? Why not? <laughs> I don't know. Why does anybody do anything? Okay, okay. I was hoping some novel advice um, to help other wrestlers, referees, and other staff members out there. I mean, honestly, to encourage like, them to do something interesting on social media to help their careers. But whatever the fuck, you were at Bound for Glory. Not really, <laughs> honestly. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I, I figure, I always figure, like, it just always. Everybody always told me I should have gotten an Instagram years ago, right? Because mm-hmm. they wanted, to, like, we want to tag you and stuff. We want to tag you and stuff. Oh. Well, mm-hmm. I do like I, I'm part of all this cool shit. So I am technically in this clip. I'm face down holding the ladder because I don't want to watch my good friend Brandon <laughs> St. James kill and kill Nick Wild through this table. Yeah, which which was scary uh, enough. Exactly. Uh, 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 Shout out to Casey War for by the way, and I've, Nick's Jin for being the two to check on him. First. By the way, I switched this show and I have not watched it back. I, I'm, oh. I'm, I'm I'm trying to bring myself to it. I I feel real weird watching certain things back that I've I don't know. It, it just like it just I don't know what, what like it's it's my own stupid quirky way of mm-hmm. of a documenting what I'm doing, but yes. also b trying to bring more attention, right? You, like, you and also it's, it's it's it is like you are featured in these, like you you are the referee, you're involved you, in these. You yeah. know, you're not posting matches that you're just you're just random matches. Right. It's, yeah. It's, that, like that's pretty much what. This it, is your portfolio. Pretty much what it all started. Yeah. Pretty much. But like, at, pretty much like at one point, like it's pretty much all like falsies. But like eventually, I went. You know, like that got. I got bored with that. Mm-hmm. And they weren't really getting. They weren't taking off or anything. So I don't know. Like, um, don't get me wrong. A lot of the more success I'm having is with collabs. But like, mm-hmm. I don't know. Um, geez, oh man. It's like, I don't know. I just wanted to like. It's a. It's a different, quirkier way to be able to promote promote shows. And it's also fascinating because you're in so many places. You got some great pictures that are that are shared with you here. I always try. You, know, you should always um, always try to credit your photographer. Absolutely, too. Um, photographer, videographer, whoever takes the footage. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, no, like I've been trying. Like I've been I've been putting I've been experimenting putting music over them. I don't know. Like, mm-hmm. I'm just, I have no idea what I'm doing with these. I'm just, I'm having fun. But you're with them trying, and that's what counts. And I was I love this because like just kind of going through this. You know, obviously, I. You know, so many shows I've I've had a hand with, but all, but there's still like a great mix of different venues and and different promotions that you you're around with. Um, so there's some XPW there. I love like we go from like enjoy to XPW to 880 to whatever's happening in this to picture. <laughs> that was Canada. Okay. Oh, sensitive content. Um, to cocaine. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you involved in this clip? Wait, is this cocaine in Congo Kong? It, it is. Yeah. So if you go back, just go on, and f- I'm at the end. Yeah, like, uh, so. Oh, you got a cameo <laughs> in here. Okay. Yeah. So I, man, I'm technically in this. Um, because, go post this on TikTok. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, to get off of it, just in case you, I don't want you to get in trouble. Okay. Because they, they, they did flag the clip on Instagram originally. Oh no, yeah, it was yeah. sensitive content. It so. was. Well, no, the other one, yes, but um, yeah, this is what you know. It's a clip to put over the Wayward Sons in their match against the country gentleman from mm-hmm. you know. That, when was that? That was that feels like it was a turn. That was, a that was like March. I feel like yeah. March, April, was that in spring maybe. Get some JCW. This one I just put. I just put it like I was. I'm still trying to work on the overlays. This is a little bit of a gorier one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, moving on. Okay. Yep. So there was a ceiling for some reason. But yeah, here, that's the one I was talking about earlier. Yeah. So this is when I started like I was messing around, just like hey, what? like because like. The, the the black space is just there, right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. There's not much. You can and do I noticed other people's, you know, I noticed other people had been using text to just like occupy the space, and mm-hmm. I, I like the idea of it. So I figured, you know, and I'm like a I'm a utilitarian minded guy, uh, so I figured like might as well utilize all the space I have. Mm-hmm. Um, you oh, know, good instincts on that. Still messing around with things. That one blew up pretty good. That had like over 200 likes. What is that? Too tough, Tony. That's too tough, Tony. Yeah, look yeah. at him still going. Didn't he just get a Hall of Fame or something from JCW? He did. Yeah, he nice. did. Yeah, they good put him, him. They put him in at Devil's Night with Mickey and uh, Tracy Smothers. Yeah, he's one of my favorites from back in the day for sure. Back in 2001, when I used to watch it, go to the gathering. Luigi Primo. And, Luigi and Primo Colt and Oscar Colt. Oh no, he sold. He sold. Oh yeah, I no. had a, oh yeah, I had a guy. Uh, yeah, uh, guy got uh, wasn't very happy with. Uh, he said I should have disqualified him and I should have done my job better without him. <laughs> like, 
like, bro, wait, 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 comment or <laughs> no, yeah, somebody actually commented that. I'm like, bro, it's it's like okay, hey, we're a- we're in front of people who are painted like clowns, and, it, <laughs> and it's a pizza chef against a cop. But it's still, and, he's using a he's using a foreign object, sir. How is it any different than Bianca Beller's? But pie you hair? have to enforce the rules. The bread exactly. isn't a part of him. It is a foreign <laughs> object. Did he poop out the dough and then throw it at him? Then maybe you got a case. He 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 has it with him when he comes over his entrance. He never stops twirling it. So Listen, like, it's, it like? it's your credibility that we're concerned with here. Okay. I mean, yes, as a referee. Uh, I yes, I probably am done forever because of that one. <laughs> Gluten, that gluten-free crust pizza punch. You're I'm, never I'm getting done. hired. No, nope. you're not getting that WWE ID program now. Well, I didn't think I would anyway. I'm well, too, I'm too old. <laughs> I don't brother. think they're taking referees. I'm too. Old. I'm too old. <laughs> there you go. I'm. I'm gonna be 36. I'm. I'm. They're not gonna take me. <laughs> <laughs> Ten years ago, maybe. Not now. Mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> oh, still, you, it, it's a lot of fun there. No, it's it's a good, and you do one every day, right? Oh, wait, here's one of my favorite clips. There you go. Poor Reese. Oh, ah! Reese getting powerbombed by a beast man on a Target start shopping Poor cart. Poor Reese, yeah. I, the origin of how we got that shopping cart is such an odd... That's I don't pretty, even, I thought yeah. it was like kids showed up with it some or kid, something. No, some kids were walking by and they're like, hey, do you want this? And I don't think they thought I'd say yes. And I said yes, and we had a shopping cart. And we're cart all and sitting there like, where's the nearest Target? <laughs> Harmerville, Harmerville, I think, Armerville. which is like across a river and, and through and through and two like, other boroughs and yes. like six miles away. I'm like, mm-hmm. how did this get here? Yeah. And I thought the wheels are supposed to lock. Apparently not. Maybe there's only in the waterfront. Um, oh, God, I'm watching it over and over again now. Uh, <laughs> So I think you posted that on the eve of the, them facing each other at RWA last uh, month. Yes, yeah. that was the whole point. Yeah, there you go. Um, Jeez. It's good stuff. Go check that out. Big match, Bubby. On Instagram. On the Instagram. That's Just the, the Instagram B- is the big deal B- right now. B U B B Y. We can. I can. I can help you automate some stuff too. I don't like automating. Yeah. It takes the soul out of it. it takes the soul out of it. it. Takes the soul out of it. But then also. And also, don't... half the time AI spells shit wrong. Well, not that part of it. Just like reposting. But the AI. Yeah. But the AI can't spell shit wrong. Plus, like hell, I like to. I like to just do it myself. <laughs> Like a hands on Bubby, if you will. I'm trying, brother. There you go. Where are you going? You, you're not done yet. Are you part of the Pen the Penn Brewery show next week? Or uh you be with us on that one? We'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. Oh no, we we got decisions. We got the, are you are you juggling between both the shows I'm doing? You need to you know, Oh no, oh no. Oh. There we are. You're gonna pull Those a J Rock? No, yeah. who showed up? Let's just not do this. I've song. never seen somebody let's just not talk about this on air. I've never seen yeah, somebody double just, shot. <laughs> Is a there? Cleveland and a south of Pittsburgh show. I did it. Well, I did. You no, did it? I, I did. No, I did Pittsburgh did proper in Cleveland. Yeah. Okay. It was Bottle Rocket to uh, Bottle Rocket to uh, the Masonic. It was not the tree. Now the the Bottle Rocket was like a three o'clock show though. Ex- it started. Right? It did start ten minutes late. Oh, oh wow! So yeah, but I still made a six o five. I still I made. A, I'm still it. able to make a six o five bell for. And I was just. I don't even know if they started at 605. Was that the first Exodus that show? That was the first Exodus wow. show. Wow. Mm-hmm. That was the, yeah. the Lost Exodus show. Oh, Actually, there might be two Lost Exodus shows. Poor shit. I have a sample match from it. It still exists on YouTube now. It's still I, out I, there. I, I sent it to people. Yeah, it was, uh, well, somebody has. Tom it. Latimer versus Dante Casanova for the NWA World Television title. No? Wow. Mm-hmm. There you go. That was a sample match I was sending to people for a while. Yeah, that's a good spot. And that's yeah. a nice room. We did that for Circle Six one It was time. very churchy feeling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like it's not that room that's just too hot up there. Yes. There's no ventilation. Yes. yes. Um, and if you're not being careful going out that side thing to the balcony, oh. it feels like you're gonna go. Anybody from OSHA, if they'd come out there, they'd probably would have had three strokes just. Oh, the way you had to bring the rank the ring up Let's was really talk, sketch. Let, yeah. Let's not talk yeah. about that, brother. <laughs> so Let's I thought we were gonna that. lose Spider Nate Webb that one time. Uh anyways. Um really fun show. Uh with that fun balconies too. Especially for the Weezer segment. Uh, not Weezer, Weedus segment. <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me. Somebody's going to call me out on that. Hey, guys, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to talk about uh, AEW's full gear is this weekend. Figure we should cover that. See what's coming up there. Have some. I have some comments about some AEW. I have some uh, issues. Ah, I got a production issue. It's really bothered me. Maybe I'll talk about it. Maybe I'll be a Patreon. I don't know. We'll be right back after this with referee George Ross. And the Riz is here. 
And we'll be right back after this as soon as I find the button. There it is. I'm Eamon. I'm Merlin. And we're a gay. And his NB. Are you a reality television connoisseur? Do you like it discussed from an LGBTQ lens? If so, a gay and his NB is the podcast for you. Hear us break down all your favorite guilty pleasure reality shows from Bravo, Drag Race, and just about everything in between. Listen to a gay and his NB on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. Wrestling Mayhem Show still here. The Riz is here, as well as a coffeeed up referee, George Ross. We got him on caffeine. Oh my God. Here we go. I've switched the water. Hmm. Shout outs, by the way, to uh, my buddy, uh, Vic, Vic, the UPS driver <laughs> at Vic, the UPS driver, our friend, we met out the, uh, the cantina, uh, out there in Hollywood uh, earlier this year. Anyways, no so reason. So is that like plus. his official handle? Vic yeah, the UPS it, it, it guy. is. is Vic, the UPS. So is that what he is on yeah, uh, Facebook Vic the UPS or whatever? Driver. Vic, the UPS driver. Um, I know it's just an at and there's a, a QR code. What can Vic do for you? And it's a Jaws with the UPS truck. Uh, situation Got it. so yeah all right i mean there's some cool dudes that do like you know steel or um, orange county ghostbusters kind of deal out there and uh <coughs> one guy uh he dresses up as a, a ninja turtle <coughs> so you know our kind of people culture culture if you will yes i'm losing this right now so <coughs> that, well that was me earlier don't worry yeah yeah so uh aw full gear is happening and riz what's happening with that uh, I don't know. Like, I haven't really been paying that much attention to the full year, but I will check it. Good, let me fill you in. <clears throat> Lucky us. Oh, come on, man. Appreciate if our Look, if our friends are involved, hell mm-hmm. yeah. Otherwise, uh, uh, I think there might be some some people that... Is Lee, is Lee, is Lee working? I don't... I, let's find <laughs> out. No. All right. This is a discovery mission. I don't think he is. Ooh. Maybe he'll be on the pre-show or something, but... um, Well, Frost... No, you know who's on the pre-show? Hmm. Big AJ. What? Who? Big the, AJ. The, the Costco guy. The Costco guy. Oh, I'm not up on what's happening here. He brings a boom. Oh, That's what we do. We bring I'm boom. up to about halfway through the last Rampage right now. By the way, I've been enjoying Rampage. They've been having some baller matches. This uh, series with Leo Rush and, Leo Rush and uh, Commander. Um, that they've been doing is pretty good. If I want to watch that, I'll just go back and rewatch Carmelo Hayes and Andrade again because sure, those were amazing. If that's what you want, they were um, probably better than those matches. I don't know. Or I can just go back and watch Bianca Belair and Io Sky. Or okay. Like, no, like the the in ring product with WWE right now is just as good as anything they're doing with Tony okay. Khan's thing. I don't care. Okay. Like no, like like yeah. There's nothing to complain about. Like and I'm a few months behind, but like still, like there's it's good. Mm-hmm. It's good. No, the stuff is holding up. The last I've seen, the last couple of weeks of WWE has been the really, women are really the women good. are killing it. The women are killing it on on, mm-hmm. on about every program. Um, it's the highlight. I'd argue the women's division is probably the highlight of the NWA right now. Um, it's probably the deepest division they of have. of the NWA. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, that's even without like Camille. Mm-hmm. Look, mm-hmm. Look, and even even without Miss Kate, just mm-hmm. go look at look how deep it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Page sisters are just like the, the beginning of it because mm-hmm. they still have Markova. They still have Max. I, I, they, they still have. Um, uh, oh, I'm trying to think very that. excited. Enjoy actually announced Max against uh, oh, yeah, Sunny Kiss be a banger. for the championship. The yeah. Enjoy championship mm-hmm. here uh, after Christmas. So really December really 28th in the return to Mr. Small's theater Ooh, in Millvale. Ooh, that'll be fun. That'll be fun. Another place I've seen ICP. So I went, yeah, okay. and also where, a place where, where they d- also a place where I've seen JCW because they did a CD release tour where they did some wrestling. This sounds is this one Potter work for them? I believe so. Okay. Uh, some of our friends have been a part of that. Yeah, it was not a good experience for them at the time. Um, and well, twenty five years later, probably in, it was the Tempest CD release, which was uh, iffy era era in general for them. So right, yeah. 
Um, anyway, so what do we have to look forward to as far as this pay-per-view this weekend, uh, which I just bought today? Uh, so what, yeah, do they, what, what do they charge for the pay-per-views? Uh, well, let's see. I'll give mine a different way. Uh, let's see. It was something like $84 for the two-pack. Um, if you want to, you can get full gear of World's End right now. Uh, that is the American price. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, so wink, wink, nod VPN. Uh, so there's that. Um, also I did get all my, listen, sounds um, like it's a set of Mike Tyson's cheeks. What? It's cheeks. Mike che- Tyson's cheeks. God, do we want to talk about Mike Tyson? you derailing me on this one um it's let me cur- get through this current events it is current events and he is a probably a hall of famer or something right so anyways where the hell am i pre-show my ad, my pre-show, ad, pre-show 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 i don't even pre-show. i'm just going down the list here that i have on sec this is the best like list i could find of all the uh matches uh you got the world championship uh how are you with the again you guys are kind of watching on the side i don't think you guys are watching full on have you been following the the john moxley story when it comes to AEW? all i heard is that it's like him trying to be romper stomper is that true i don't know what that means it's an australian movie i've never seen i get the reference but only i i don't know well it's new to me so i'm interested in it like i don't know like (laughs) all i'm hearing about moxley is from the one corner of the internet that certain everybody who likes aw probably doesn't like okay so like i've seen none of it i can i I can make i can but like it's just like from like how Cornette puts it it sounds hilarious but i know that's not really how it is because it's always in the middle Okay. Um, and he's very good at playing it up. So like, yes. I, I can't imagine. Is it, is it as ridiculous as he says it is? Uh, ridiculous how? Like, they're coming out in white T-shirts, and the belt has been put in a suitcase that is handcuffed to Marina Shafir. Um, they're coming out and beating everybody up. Why they is this something the, they're doing, like the Talamasca shit from Preacher or something? A little, yeah, a little bit, I guess. I think yeah. that's, it's been a while since I watched Preacher, and I actually didn't finish it. Okay, so ta- uh, Talamasca, that's that secret organization that like they deal with like the supernatural... Crap. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. A little bit of that, like it's very cool. like like like, like but, Asriel and Dogma. Okay, okay. It, it's very um. It, it's funny because everybody comes out in like like khakis and a white t shirt, and then just uh, Pox like uh, just coming out in his underwear like he usually does. Oh yeah, yeah that's like, the meme. I saw that. Yeah, I just like it's like it's like he didn't get the fashion memo. You know, it's like can't you like buy this guy a t shirt? You know, at least it could be worse. They could still making him wear a cape. Who he loved that. Oh, that was a good time right <laughs> there. No wonder he's so angry. Um, but no, they're basically building it up. I mean, it's been like this whole uh, uh, everybody else is too soft thing, and they're trying to build. Like, now it, it's allegedly it's allegedly is this John the shit to where the up. like that that Brian got choked out with the yes, bag? Okay. Yes. Yes, that was kind of the, the was that the beginning of, of it. That was the beginning. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. That was the initial. Is turn. Wheeler Yuta still involved? In this? Wheeler Yuta is, yes. is still involved. Okay. He is still the punching bag for everybody. Um, I had I didn't like, know he was a punching bag for anybody. They will throw him into like. So he's J D McDonough. They they did yes. a, they did a thing Thank a couple you. weeks ago where um they just grabbed him, made like they're going to take him out with a steel chair to bait out Orange Cassidy just to tell him to take out Orange Cassidy. So they're playing him. He's playing that kind of reluctant, reluctant thing. Like the, 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 literally, there's a thing where Orange Cassidy called him out for a match on Dynamite. This they, already sounds hold on, way let me, too convoluted. The, 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 He's calling him out for it, and he's like, he's like, I'm not, you know, I'm not a punk. I'll take you on. And you literally just see Claudio say, "Shut up," you know, next to him, right? Like he's being compl- completely kind of bitched out. Claudio's on this thing. in this too. Yeah. Jeez. It's Claudio. Like I explained the whole gimmick. Yeah, here. you do. Because okay. I, literally, I literally said I <laughs> do Sean not watch Arena. AEW. It's 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 uh, Willa Yuta, Pac, and Yuta, and Claudio. Cla- they're actually tri- trios champs right now. So yeah. Okay. Because of course we have any more questions. I mean, no. So that's going down. Or we'll see what happens with Orange Cassidy. I mean, I, what, I don't. Do you I, like it? Yes, I do. It's okay. interesting. It's some storytelling. It's right. like it, it feels like a little bit of that storytelling that everybody complains that AEW doesn't do. Uh, between that, between the stuff with Bobby Lashley's in there with the Hurt Syndicate, and they're bringing that in uh, with uh, with with uh, Swerve. Uh, they've been passing out these MV- MVPs, been passing out business cards to Ricochet and Leo Rush and uh, a couple other people. Uh, I think Monet got one. 
and um mercedes and and stuff so like you don't know if there's going to be an extra member there um i think it's been and they're picking up where they left off with wwe you know uh, all that's missing is cedric i don't know what happened to cedric is cedric still there is he just like in he's wwe in, speed? he's probably in catering is he in wwe speed purgatory that's such a shame for uh, one thing um those checks clear there you go. yeah there you go uh, Mercedes Monet, Monet against uh, Chris Statlander. I've been weirded out by Chris Statlander all of a sudden just shedding this whole Stokely, um, Stokely and uh, 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 Willow situation mm -hmm. and just being Chris Statlander again because I kind of liked where they're going with her as a heel. But whatever, probably injuries. I, I just miss Stokely. I know, right? Well, Stokely's been taking credit for Private Party getting their championship. <laughs> As they should, as he should. Yeah, yeah. He's just like, oh, I'm the one to push these guys, and 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 they pick that up off of him. Um, I enjoyed. Did you catch the part where um, when the Bucks lost the champ, the tag championships, they were shredding papers in the back and have never been seen again. <laughs> so, uh, Jack Perry and TNT Championship defending against Daniel Garcia. Some really good promos cool. been go been yeah. happening there. That could, that could be the runaway match of the night uh, potentially, and that's really uh, high praise considering everything. Uh, some of these other ones happening. Four way tag team ta tag team championship match: Outrunners, Kings of the Black Throne, and I believe it was uh, acclaimed, acclaimed who may be angling for a breakup uh, from the looks of things again. And Private Party, of course, defending there. MJF and Roderick Strong through the three trials of MJF because we love to do that. Uh, so I don't know what they're going to do with Adam Page with that. I think Adam, or, uh, I'm sorry, Adam Cole. I think Adam Cole is going to end up screwing Roderick. You thinking, Riz? I'm confused. Yeah, it is confusing, actually. Because <laughs> there's that storytelling again. I mean, did they ever bring up why why Adam Cole was evil and then attacked M no. MJF. Oh, uh, well, though, basically, MJF basically turned, and... they turned it around that MJF was always a piece of shit and they were actually the good guys in the situation. They were doing no, a they lot. Weren't. They were doing a lot of rewriting history with that promo. The that they Red did. Was, they took the yeah. long way around on that stuff. It, that part was not okay. And to get to all of a sudden, Roderick Strong is not an asshole and is back to kind of old Roddy because he shaved the mustache. That makes the difference. Um, oh, is, but in, in the promo picture, mm -hmm. the one I'm looking at from is he still the mustache? Dot com, <laughs> they haven't updated it yet. He still has the mustache. Mm, 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 mm. I must like they updated, they updated Cal Fletcher without mm. his, without his like hair. Yes. But they didn't do anything with Roderick Strong. Fletcher and Osprey. I think that'll be pretty good. That'll be fun. That'll be that'll be good. Swerve Bobby Lashley, as I alluded to. Jay White and the Hangman. That might that actually might be the good match of the mm -hmm, night. Mm -hmm. Jay White, has got to they got to roll something with them. AJ Costco guy and QT Marshall for some reason on the pre-show. Is that all that we have for the pre-show? They probably not, wait. Mm, I guess I'll announce some stuff this week. So. And that is your full Who's gear. Who's QT teaming with? He is taking He's on faced. AJ from Costco guys. Okay. That's Whatever right. that means. No, no. Uh, if there's somebody who would take him, that sounds right. What? QT always does these like celebrity matches, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So. Um, that's whatever that is. Cedric is in NXT, according to Podner. It says RIP Rampage. Is Rampage officially going away? Well, Th didn't, they, didn't they get another show? Didn't they file for another show? The, there's a, a allegedly shockwave. The shockwave show, but no, it hasn't like allegedly it was going to go to Fox, maybe Fox Sports. There's a new show technically that popped up on Fox Sports Mexico, but that's more of a recap show, a Spanish language recap show. Oh, uh, AW a a Explosion. Well, it basically replaced all the WWE content because the WWE content's leaving for Netflix in that region. So, you know, there was a big void and AEW filled in all of it. How will we ever watch What's Jacked? Yeah. <laughs> Main and, event's still out there. I and think. Metal. Yeah. Friday night metal. Yes. Was that Riz? <laughs> what what's the what's the deal with their new like so Fight for the Fallen is going mm -hmm. to Max. What? Is that the announcement? That's I think that was the announcement. I think Tina might have posted it or it might be on one of her things. 
Okay, that was a, I didn't get caught up with the chat. Let's probably do that before the show. But yeah, I think there's like fight for the fallen's going on. He's going to be the like main like the, the main startup for Max. Okay. For the streaming service for them. Um and it looks like uh, yeah, and it looks like Rampage isn't scheduled with 2025 dynamite tapings. Okay, okay. I, I'm not sure if they were listed on the on the new Max lineup, to be quite mm-hmm. honest. So, I mean, with everything and all the movements around, I, I kind of am not surprised with any of that stuff. I think you're going to see a lot of that kind of shifting. Um, but let's Which see. Which is weird because the fight for the fallen is on January 1st mm-hmm. on a Wednesday. So wait, it's, it's still a dynamite. Wait, 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 wait. Streaming live on first ever show. Oh, this is, oh no, all this is, is the, is the, is the simulcast. Cause remember AEW dynamite is simulcasting on max was the, the announcement for the new oh, TV okay. deal. This, so this is the first episode that you're going to be able to watch it on max as well. Under this new deal, so January first, you're going to be able to see AEW Dynamite on Max. January sixth, you're going to be able to see Raw on Netflix. Now, you made a good point here, bringing up the Mike Tyson in his ass, uh, because people are not happy with the performance of the Mike that, Tyson. Fight there were the eighty other night. million people watching. On yeah, Netflix. That, yeah, there is 60. not going to be well, whatever the hell. Point is, maybe if we're lucky, let's say we're if we're doing normal TV numbers, isn't that only about five percent of that? Probably three million users. So I think I think more more interesting to look at is seeing what the Christmas Day NFL games do. Because okay, let's lay this out. That's going to get wait, more wait, wait, traffic. Back up, than, back up, back up. We're presuming people know what we're talking about. Uh, the Mike Tyson fight. Mike Tyson, uh, uh, Jake Paul a fight uh, uh, listed about sixty million households globally. Definitely during the main event. I witnessed this on my Apple TV, but it, it was, was, the, it was the women's match. It was going women's out. Women's match. It was dropping out. I so here's my experience. I didn't even try to watch. Had it the, on. The main event. Somebody messaged me, so I had happened to have it on while I was working here at the studio on Friday night. Uh, I did drop out. It was on a phone for a while. Then I put it on my laptop, and it, in both cases, a couple of times, it just aired and dropped fully out. I just hit play again. And it was fine. Right before the fight, I was transitioning to my home, and um, it was still on my phone, and I'm trying to get it up on the Apple TV on the Netflix app, and it was absolute garbage trying to watch it on there. Uh, Low resolution, pauses, buffering, it was bad for most of the fight. Uh, So this is where people are questioning, because again, you're going to have two NFL games, including the Steelers, and now Beyonce at a halftime show on Christmas Day. And people are going to be really sore if an NFL game has streaming problems. Now, related to this, Amazon has been streaming the Thursday night games and apparently with better ratings than what NBC was getting in the slot. Um, And I understand better production than most NFL games. Mm -hmm. Uh, So I almost want to sit down and watch one, but I'm usually busy on Thursday nights for some reason. Um, But anyways, just to see, I'm just always interested in production values. Um, So we'll see what happens there. Wait till I go on my AEW production rant later. Nerd. Okay, nerd. Okay, referee nerds. Okay, zebra nerd. (laughs) I'm a majestic. Zebras are majestic. (laughs) Okay. Majestic creatures. Okay, sure. They are. Um, But anyways, so the question is going to be, what does this mean for the NFL stream? What does this mean for the... Now, this is the first time that they've had something uh, uh, allegedly... um, when you're doing a live stream like this, um, you you allocate assets, and I think they did not. I think they underestimated what they were going to get out of this, as far as the numbers, and that's probably what led to this. Um, as they do a weekly thing, and uh, WWE Raw, if you look at their ratings, what was it like two million, two to three million, two to three million a week? You really think you're going to get more than that on Netflix? No, you know, I doubt it. Um, the start, the start will be a little bit higher than that. Yeah. The, the, the start will be, of course, it's going to, it's going to spike. Ratings, ratings won't matter. No, it won't. It, well, it no views are going to matter in a different metric. So, um, so anyway, so you have that situation. Um, I think WrestleMania got a million views like last year or something. And that was a big deal. Right. So, um, and that's, again, you're paying for that outside of cable and, 
or local or anything like that. Um, yeah, so for my, for my crystal ball, wrong only gets 1.5 to 1.7 million. Yeah. And you know what? You might not, you won't not know about it unless Netflix wants you to know about it. Gone mm-hmm. will be the days of the weekly uh, ratings. Look, 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 if Raw breaks Netflix, we are in a great situation because it means everybody's watching us. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. That is like, that's the, but, like, like if that happens, like people, that's amazing. People, but it probably won't. Yeah. People are, that means people are going to turn off their TV for, that's that as Monday Night Football on ESPN which is probably a really important game mm-hmm. and then turn on their Netflix account and watch wrestling. Well, in a lot of cases, most people just have it as an app on their TV. I'm yeah. in an awkward position That's because true. I got rid of my Netflix years ago. So now I might have to actually get it again. Maybe. 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 I don't really want to. I, don't want to pay I got t- max with my phone plan, so I'm good to go. I don't want to pay and, 16 and, or 17 bucks a month for freaking. And Netflix. and if, 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 if max, if I'm happy with the quality and the, and the, and everything with, with, AEW on Max. I might have to drop a subscription where I'm watching it now. I swear I was supposed so. to get some free gimmick to get Max because I already had the cable subscription, but they charged mm-hmm. me 15 bucks a month anyway. So I, just I had a to... I had a curious issue with Disney Plus with mine too. So, yeah, yeah, so yeah, 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 so I had to deal with that. But surprise, surprise. That's why yeah. I just cancel. That's why I don't like. I, th- I, I think cancel Zeke, everything and get over it. Zeke and I have a handful of, of them. Like we don't, we don't like you know. I pay for cable still. But I don't know why, but. Anyways, um, so yeah, so that's going to be the deal there. Um, so so it's going to be nice because you are going to be able to watch at least a flagship show for both the top companies on streaming. And, you know, one less reason to have cable, honestly. And NXT is over the air. Put up some bunny ears. You'll be fine. Watch it. Bizunny ears? Yeah, some bizunny ears. Bizunny you know? ears, okay. And actually, you know, all the AWs. Will... What's happening? Kazarni? Sinbodies like here. Oh my god! That time oh, I ran. Right over there. Right over there. Look. What? Sinbodies right over there. Yeah. Sinbodi played Kazarni. Yes. Yeah. He's over there. What are you pointing at? Nothing. He's not there. Oh. Haha. I don't know what's happening. We need to wrap the show because George is losing his damn mind and needs more coffee. Am I? Apparently. Or have you already lost yours? Uh, you know what? I have not lost a slice on Broadway, New York City style. Yinzer made. Have a slice day as it yells at me <laughs> when you're with, when you're on hold with Slice on Broadway, Beach Street, Carnegie, East End, North Hills. Dave Potter, you son of a bitch. The oh, other no. day, oh, where no. did he send that? Where did he send that to me? Was that I can't remember which system, which thing is he, he doing? On. The kicking the door. He down was again? doing the kicking the door down Don't somewhere. Do did you do that on the social media? Did you send that to me, Dave? Where was that? Where the hell was that? Uh, I can't. Oh, yeah. There he is. Don't do this. I just don't do this. Okay. Don't put your foot on the slice on Broadway. Don't kick the door down. I think that's a back. I think that's an employee access, actually. Don't do that. No, no. Be nice to the slice on Broadway. Don't put your feet on the slice on Broadway. That's not okay. That's Mayhemers behaving badly. No, 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 no. So all this means is that you have now have to go like pay a visit to Oakmont Bakery or something and like, you know, I don't know. We don't care what you do at Oakmont Bakery. It's a free country. No, it's him. He doesn't Potter live in Oakmont? <laughs> he has brought us Oakmont Bakery. Exactly. He brought, so a, he brought us a cookie. He brought us a cookie cake exactly. for uh, Awesome so, Cat 700. So make sure that he never gets his dang will you, cookie Were cake. you here that night with a cookie cake? Was that what this is? I don't know. Do you want cookie cake? Is that what's happening? Mm. You know, what's we should, why are we not getting like a 880 cookie cake on, on special Thursdays? No. Please. We get everybody. You know, we, we don't have enough resources for cookie cake. No. No. It's definitely not a cookie cake kind of business. Mm-mm. No. No. We got to get them brewery shows drawn better to get cookie cake. Yeah. yeah. That might be the path. Yeah. Brews might be the path to. Oh, speaking of which. Coming up. You still have coming oh. up next week. Thanksgiving <laughs> Bash Thanksgiving Bash Three. three. Featuring a poster for it. Featuring such matches as Remy or uh, Remy LeVay, the eraser, defending the eight eighty title against the Italian strongman Gianni Michael Enrico. Mm. First time ever in a ring, MV Young versus Jack Pollock to determine who really is the hardcore icon of Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. 
The Den of Desire, Marco Narciso and Blizzy Blake finally get their shot at the at System Elite to finally see if they can uh, accomplish the team teamhood dream of getting the belts. Yeah, is that what we we'll call that? Teamhood dream. It can't be boyhood dream because there's two of them. So like, I don't know. Help me out here. I don't know. You're um, doing great. And uh, other fine matches. Yes. And other, and other top-notch action. Stuff. It won't be outside. No. Because it's 50 degrees out. Yeah. And it's not happening. Nope. What, they're doing it without me, if they do that. Um, no, we're going to be in the ballroom. That's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, a really cool venue um, that they got going on there. So just the walk to the to the room is going to be fun for some people. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out how I managed to get a parking space directly in front of the brewery f- before the last show. Somehow, I have no idea. <laughs> I just parked up. So yeah, I'm just parked right there. I showed up at noon. That's you, why I you up at noon. how how many hours of sleep did you get that day? Oh, which was that a bad day for that? Oh, that mm. was the day we came back from Detroit and I hit. Yes. A oh, I had like three hours of sleep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was doing. Great. I don't know how I pulled that. I, double, was doing I don't great. know how I pulled that double I shot off, brother. Definitely had a panic attack during setup. <laughs> oh, well, you tell I got, Zeke was checking on me or Keith or somebody. I'm just like, yeah. yeah. Well, that was the. I'm gonna go sit down was, for a minute, guys. I left the three day. That was a three show day. I literally, I literally, I literally <laughs> bolted from West Newton the second that dog collar match ended. Oh, that's right. Was that an RWA show was, that night? That was too? RWA and ADM. So uh, that was the that was the one, two, three, four, five. That was the six shows in three days that mm-hmm. we managed situation. So no wonder I was losing my shit by that. Yeah, because you um you end up okay. So you end up having to do eight eighty and enclave. Mm-hmm. Then well, I was so I did you you, you got I did you, eight, you got people eight eighty clash in Detroit and Penn Penn Brewery. Had to manage making sure everybody had everything they needed for RWA and West Student. Ended up being short an XLR cord, which was problematic for somebody, and um, and then and then also had last minute callouts for two shows in Pittsburgh, while I was on my way to the two other shows. So yeah, um, yeah, that was a lot. This is why no one in the Midwest does what you do, Sorg. Probably. Yeah, because I'm only one crazy enough to fucking do this. Hi, welcome to being crazy. What happens if I just go away? Precisely, you can't. I can't? I'm locked to this? I'm in wrestling purgatory? Is that what's happening? I can't can't go go away. away. You can't go away. Nobody's going to fix their apron. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, you had to replace another one this weekend. That was a thing. Uh, Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Sometimes... P- uh, people would advert like I inadvertently had to spend three hundred dollars this week on extra shit that wasn't even my fault. That's the worst part. Welcome, to very, yeah. very familiar. I still need to replace a rearview mirror. But it'll be cheaper than a freaking tire, brother. That's true. That is true too. So, um, guys, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? We're kind of meandering here. <laughs> What's going on? Riz, go first. What time is it? Oh no, Riz, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? I learned that. Um, fuck, what I learned. Mm-hmm. See, it's very hard coming back from three weeks. It is. It is hard coming back from three weeks. Yes, because I have to remember things. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, overall, I learned that. Um, fuck. Um, that no matter what happens. Something's gonna happen to that hard cam. Hmm. Hmm. What happened to the hard cam, Riz? Um, there were a couple of times in RWA where like they fought up to the apron, to the to the, to the entranceway. Okay. And then came back through the entranceway. Okay. Well, they didn't actually leave the entranceway. So they were bumping the entranceway and fucking with the hard cam that's on top of yeah. the entranceway. Okay. So yeah. you're telling me we didn't do something different with hard cam. Mm, I mean, I still like the hard cam. Okay. Can we do something about the lighting there now? No. Um, I think that's we're a not, work in progress. We're not people who talk about lighting. It kind of feels yeah. like we're in a closet there. A little bit. A little bit, we yes. Are. I, I, I have my complaints, but they're working at it, and I haven't seen it for a couple months, so I don't know where things have landed. 
So, um, well, it's just now that it's going to be dark at freaking five o'clock. Yeah, that's a concern too. But you yeah. know, it's a is that one light? We're, in the we're, all, we're, we're already getting nailed with with. It's literally called sad seasonal affective disorder, bro. Mm. Like it's it's terrible. From the chat room, the big sad. What's what the fuck? Um. I learned that the best university shut down tonight. Chase Lou, Chase U is losing at NXT. Mm. Uh, One learned uh, Comcast is selling off USA because they don't believe USA is a great feeder to Peacock. So that's interesting. They're selling USA Network? Mm -hmm. huh. Okay. Uh, shout out to Matt Shoe Prince of Pro on the blue sky for the Pittsburgh Wrestling starting list. There you go. I learned that 880 Wrestling is nominated for a promotion of the year in the 2024 QWI Awards. Oh. And is hosted by the LBGT in the Ring podcast. What? That is hosted. Yeah. The awards are hosted by the LBGT in the Ring podcast mm -hmm. to highlight the best in queer professional wrestling. So, and everyone should go vote for them as well as vote for many of the other 880 talents. I also nominated. That's a lot I was, to learn, listen, bro. There was a Seymour, and that's I didn't click Seymour, so I didn't get my breath right. Okay. <laughs> And we're live, pal. Dang, that is a that is a, yes. that is a lot to learn. But uh, they go to QWI. It, there's going to be a lot of film. It did that. That did remind me of thing. I, another thing I learned. Hmm. Um, yesterday they they announced the 2024 Game Awards. Okay. <laughs> the the sports and racing category. Mm-hmm. WWE 2K24 is nominated. That's weird. I hope they didn't play the game late. Hmm? It is buggy as fuck. Is it gotten worse? It's it's a little bit. It's, it's, it, it's been recently. fucky. We need to. We, I need to jump in there because there's a lot of new characters that I haven't been able to mess with here. But and still, is this I, War I Games can... thing? Is this War Games pack part of my season that I paid for? It better oh, you'll, be. You'll get war games, I think. Okay, good, 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 yeah. good, good. Uh, so you, don't, you you won't get you don't get uh, the the Bray Wyatt thing. I thought I do get the Bray Wyatt thing. I, I was think pretty they, sure they announced I did. like a new. There's another Bray Wyatt thing. Mm -hmm. I would be um, not amazed if they decide not to do another 2K next year and just keep just selling updated. packs. Like, that's what I want them to do. Yeah, I mean that's pretty much what like, AEW does. Like just update. We know how good roster. Fight Forever is, though. I enjoy Fight Forever. Actually, it's Fight nice. Forever is okay. Yeah, no, I mean it's not. It's not the same game as it's, WWE. It's it's not like it, it but it, it it delivers on what the promise is. Hey, did you like No Mercy? You're gonna like this game. They delivered on that. And the Fortnite style <laughs> battle royal game is so weird and fun they so, have a Fortnite I'm there battle royal oh game? yeah there's like a live battle royal game sounds right that's a, a, a that they like added like a mega stuff it, it, it definitely is it, well it's the um it's the arena stuff oh, that they were doing okay, okay. anarchy and arena or whatever it was called yeah. um so no <laughs> like, I, I you, you could go jump in a golf cart and hit people with it like it's oh, it's nice. fun okay it's so fun. so it's like a blood and guts match basically uh, yeah, like the stadium match yeah, yeah. It's, it's the stadium stamp stadium stampede that's what they call it yeah that's the name of the mode you pop in there and it's like you kind of do wrestling moves, but it's like it is like more like a Fortnite esque kind of like <laughs> run around and hit people. Kind of. Like so basically mostly without guns because there is like kind of a gun in it. Yeah. That's how you can pick up. But it's, so, it's interesting. Anyways, you're saying. Yeah. So I'm just going to bring up this a little bit here. In that category that they're in, uh, there's no Madden, which is interesting. Uh, the only thing, the only thing I can think of is like the F FC twenty five, the mm -hmm. soccer game, mm -hmm. might be, it might be top three, I mm -hmm. think, because they have EA Sports FC twenty five and they have NBA two K twenty five, and two K twenty four is somewhere in there, and it's F one twenty four and Top Spin twenty five, which is tennis, I think. No, it's golf. Golf, that's top spin. Uh, so they might they might get a fucking game award out of this. Mm. I learned that I need to go to New York City soon. You do. Uh, AEW announced that they're going to do a three-night stand at Manhattan Center Hammerstein Ballroom 
And also with that, because I just saw this on my Twitter feed, because Lee Moriarty was sharing, he got he's on his first pay-per-view poster, and in it, he's wearing his mask. So there you go. Um, I kind of like the new design they got going on there. I dig that. He's on a, he's on a poster with Ishii. He's on a poser with Ishii. Yes. How about that? And by the way, check out Cello, Check out Billy Starks. So how long until we get the Dustin Rhodes cocaine match? Oh, yeah. That'll Ooh. happen. Yeah, he hated that. Oh, he's working. Oh, he my God. Really, he's working. He doesn't really hate it. I was figured. Uh, yeah. He's working. Whatever. Um, no, I, uh, I, man, um, what did I learn? Good crew. Love and organization behind the scenes. You know what? You know, let me get a shout out to this. The general shout out in, in, in teaching and learning kind of moment. I, I'm appreciating the people. Obviously, we worked, you know, George and I, we worked a show that is very highly organized. And um, it's always amazing when you work a show like that. We are literally like doing our job. And I don't know if it feels like it on your side, George, but like it's a very breezy show. Goes by very quick. A lot is happening. No matches feel like they're taking forever. You know what I mean? Um, and I really appreciate that. I also appreciate the people that are trying to accomplish that. Um, we were able to get nine matches, two segments, and an animation yeah. done in three hours. And segments that feel like there was a purpose to them, right? You had the the Cristiano, the former Mambo Italiano. Um, it was also great. I got to talk with a lot more people than I usually do at next to the show. I feel like we're kind of sequestered away from people. Everybody's downstairs, but for whatever reason, I, I felt like I kept running into people more. Maybe because I just wasn't going crazy with setup for some reason. Um, and you know, there were just so many people involved and so many bodies and so many movements, and we got it. You know what I mean? Like it was well thought out, and nothing was like. And also, you know what makes a lot of sense? When people um, put themselves in a ring in a position that the cameras can see the people, really appreciate that. Uh, that doesn't happen everywhere. Um, so notice like, there's a reason why people line up in the middle of the ring when you watch a Raw promo, right? If the cameras can't see you, the fans can't fucking see you, wrestlers. Come on. Anyways, um, so... That and again, appreciating people because I know we're doing, you know, there's a lot of things that we're learning and trying on Thursday nights, but seeing like, you know, talking a lot with uh, some of the backstage crew that help us out at Exodus and we're bringing in a lot of those organizational elements into things like, you know, our Thursday night shows. Uh, so appreciating that kind of build out things. I was just on a call with somebody today, a prospective uh, videographer that might work with us. And I was just like, you know, working different crews, you learn different techniques that you never would have thought of. You know, so we're we're learning something from people that are thinking about production a different way up there, bringing it into these other groups. And I'm hoping this becomes a thing that it flourishes up. You know what I mean? Like the wrestlers know how to deal with these elements, be more organized, be. Get this, George, professional wrestlers. And big on the professional part of it um, and and everything. And so just appreciating those efforts that some people have been making over the last several weeks with things as we're kind of growing things up and making them kind of, uh, flow a little bit better. So, and Riz has been a part of that too. I try. <laughs> Good try. Anyways, uh, yeah, I panic, but I try also from the chat from the mad one learn that the true teachable moment is, uh, don't bet on yourself. If you have a gambling problem, <laughs> pop, Apparently, I need to catch up on NXT as well. I didn't watch past the uh, ECW Arena one, that which was fun, by the way. I really appreciate that show. It's a nostalgia grab. I know. Which one? But the NXT at uh, ECW Arena. Oh, well, from a couple so weeks ago. What? Who cares? Yeah, who cares? That's like that's the fucking best. Who am I? Who am I going to like? If I, why, why would I shit on that? Hmm? Like my only TV match was in the ECW Arena. Yeah, I got to work ECW Arena a couple times in yeah. production. It's so cool it's fucking cool and it was like and then wwe did it it was yeah. like i was like cool what did they do with it like i'm just like okay how did they make that room work you know what i mean knowing what we've had to do in different aspects you know and seeing seen so many promotions over the years in there so um god everything from shikara to new japan to impact to uh stardom ring of honor in the hd net days uh, everybody yeah it's just, like, just like that i've witnessed you know so, um, no, it's really cool to see that, that space. Also, there. I got, I got, I got a, you sent me something. So we're, I kind of, I kind of, kind of, kind of jealous here for you. What? You. What? The thing that you sent me. What did I send you? You know what you sent me. 
I don't know what I sent you, Riss. I'm not sure what I sent you. Your 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 blue sky uh, request. So. Oh yeah. I didn't look what to see fuck? if he's real or anything, but apparently the great Kali followed the Mayhem Show account on Blue Sky. So, you know, not me, not you, not me. But it's definitely over on the Blue. It's definitely on the Mayhem Show side. One so, day. One day. Uh, if you are interested, I know a lot of people. A lot of wrestling is moving to. Well, that's a there to go to Blue Sky. Uh-huh. George is tired. Um, um, we have tips. If you go to over to AwesomeCast, go to SorgatronMedia.com. Check out the end of... It'll be posted here in the next few hours. Uh, the end of the AwesomeCast. Um, what was it? 710, I think, is the latest episode. And we have a special edition from the week before. And we're touching, we've are touched base on how do you manage um, going to new promotions or not promotions to new social medias. Um, a lot of wrestling has gone to Threads and Blue Sky. AEW started accounts on them and everything. So, you know, if uh, you've been looking for a reason to get off Twitter, I think now is a good time to do it. Your community is moving over there. Matt's over there. True Prince Pro is over there. So that means it's time. Okay. Yes, you are the you are the litmus test for social media, Matt. Uh, so, but anyways, I've been waiting for wrestling to move and been poised to uh, jump on it for a while. Uh, but there, I, we have some tools to help you find your followers over there. Um, some tools to help you uh, cross post between these if you want to kind of spread it out, especially if you're a wrestler that wants to be sure you're on all those promotions or you're a, or you're a bubby. Um, uh, I would just throw out real quick uh, apps, um, including Croissant on uh, the phones. will help you with that. Uh, look up Croissant and Blue Sky Threads or whatever. Um, a so- Sky Follower Bridge. Investigate that uh, plugin in most browsers. Or extension, I suppose it's called. It'll help you find your followers across those. And um, micro.blog is another option to have a home away from these that will cross post to most of these things. Um, so uh, if you have any questions about those, feel free to comment or uh, send me a message or a DM on whatever platform you're on. I'm Sorgatron on about everything. Uh, so, and I, and I would definitely help you with those if you're trying to figure that out. Uh, so, so definitely um, want to help people with that migration, because that seems to be the way things are going, we're in a really interesting period right now as far as social media, and um, a lot of people are going to get lost, and you know, and you know, it happens. That's fine. We're going to help each other across the threshold here to the next social media deal. Hopefully, a better one. Anyways, referee George Ross, thank you so much for sharing your travels with us here this evening. Mm, thank you for having me. Thank you, the Riz, for being uh, Riztastic. I think we're going to have a live stream on Wednesday night. We are. It sounds like you and Dutters are going to play Katamari. Yes. She has not played Katamari. No. Perfect. She is going to enjoy the King of Cosmos. We're going to just let her loose for a while. I wish, I kind of wish we'd have her play the first one because the first one is the most absurd, it feels. Yeah. So I believe the one that I saw. The second one just dropped on Game Pass. Yeah. I I believe this one has some sort of like i kind of want to play it by myself as well Uh uh-huh um because it does have some sort of like um a battle royale type okay okay we'll we'll investigate that we'll We'll take a look at it before we get in here of course make sure i've installed it on everything that we did too um but thank you guys so much uh thank you we'll stay tuned we'll do a little bit of patreon here i think somebody's going to be popping in from the looks of things in the chat, and we'll see you guys next time. May him out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.